Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing really good. If you are new to the channel, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss out on the important things that we upload for you people and do, do not forget to hit the like button and share with all your friends. So guys, I've been getting a lot of messages that sir, please complete the service costing part, right? Because this was the last part in the English series. See, the conceptually we have already discussed everything in one of the previous lectures, I have covered all the concepts. And regarding, the con uh, regarding this practical part, we have covered the transport costing, that is one of the most important. We have covered the hotel costing, one question of hotel costing, this question number 8 we will be discussing right now. right? After that is hospital costing, ITITA services, all these questions are covered in the ICISM. Right? All these questions are from ICISM and I have covered each and every question in the ICISM series that is available on our Android or the iOS mobile app. Right. So I will suggest that go join that series. That is one of the most important, most valuable series, I will say, from the examination purpose. Even if you are, uh, you know, near to the examinations, if you are very close to your examination, say just one month is left to your examinations, even then you must go for that. Right. That is approximately 30 hours. So giving five hours a day in six days, you can cover the entire costing ICISM. And that is a sort of a booster series for you. Right. If you have, a, uh, if you have got a good grip on the costing ICISM, then uh, you are surely, you know, on the road to get 60, 70 marks in the costing, or any of the subjects, in fact. Right. So that is one of the most valuable series available in Hindi, available in English, both the languages. It is available. Fast Track is available. So everything is available. The links are in the video description. Go join there one of the most valuable series right the amount that you will be paying for that series you will be getting worth much more than that right and just believe me uh, if you are investing i'm not saying spending you will be investing 1200 rupees in that series and just imagine if you are getting 80 plus in the costing you will forget about that 1200 isn't it? And as a chartered accountant, you're going to earn much more than that. So that is one of the most value additional uh, series. Right? Let's discuss about the question number eight quickly. And let's wind up this English batch. The YouTube batch, English lectures, cost accounting, let's wind it up. This is going to be the last lecture. And I hope you have a good ride with this, right? So let's do it. Question number eight quickly. Let's discuss what is there in the question. The question is pretty simple. The question is not difficult at all, right? From the following information relating to a hotel, calculate the room rent to be charged to give a profit of 25% on the cost excluding interest. Now, this is an important line of this question that whenever you are calculating the profit, profit, one thing, the percentage of the profit is given on cost, right? That is simple. But the wording that is given along with that is excluding interest. That means whenever you are considering the cost, you do not have to include the interest while calculating the profit. Otherwise, the interest will be taken in the total cost, right? But for the calculation of the profit, you do not have to take the interest. Salaries to staff is given 1,2200 per annum. The wages to the room attendant is rupees 4 per day. There is a room attendant for each room. He is paid wages only when the room is occupied. Right, sir. Lighting, heating and power, the normal lighting expenses for each room for the whole month is rupees 100 when occupied. Right, when it is occupied, the normal lighting expenses are 100 rupees for the whole month, not for per day. Right, the power is used only in the winters and the charges are rupees 40 per month for a room when occupied. Repairs to the building are given rupees 10,000 per annum. License etc. is given 4,800 per annum. Sundry 6,600 per annum. Interior decoration and furnishing is 10,000 per annum. Depreciation at 5% is to be charged on the building costing 4 lakhs and 10% on the equipment. Right? Sir, equipment cost is not given. Maybe it is missing. Okay, equipments amounting to... Okay. Right. See the next point, interest to be charged at the rate of 20% on the investment in buildings and equipment amounting to rupees 5 lakh. So this is the interest, right? The equipment value is 5 lakh. The depreciation of 10% will be calculated on this 5 lakh. Clear? Now, while calculating this profit, 25% on cost excluding interest. That means this point is to be excluded when you are calculating the profit, 25% on the cost. 
right excluding this part excluding this interest you have to calculate after that he says there are 100 rooms in the hotel 80% of the rooms are generally occupied in summer and 30% in the winter the period of summer and winter may be considered to be 6 months in each of the case a month may be assumed to be of 30 days right what is the first step the first step is always calculation of room days that for how many uh, days the rooms have been occupied right so the first step will always be calculation of room days how many room how many rooms are there there are 100 rooms right there are two seasons one is the summer season right and another one is the winter season clear both the seasons are for six months and what he is saying he says in the summer if you are having 100 rooms 80 percent of the rooms are occupied right that means every day out of 100 rooms 80 rooms are occupied and in a month 30 days right and six months in a year because the season is six months summer six months winter in the winter what is there sir in the winter there is the occupancy rate is 30 percent because people love to stay inside so 100 multiplied by 30 percent multiplied by 30 days multiplied by six months clear this is the room days that you will get that comes to 14,400 and 5400 total is 19,800 room days that means the expenses are being calculated for these many room days that means for these many days these hundred rooms have been occupied right occupancy of hundred rooms for these many days clear so this is always the first step that we have to calculate 19,800 room days after that it is pretty simple you have to take all the expenses will you be able to take it yes sir salaries to staff room attendant salary rupees 4 per day and it is paid only when the room is occupied so what will be the room attendant salary right what will be the room attendant salary in the summer the salary will be how much 4 rupees and for the number of room days occupied 14,400 right so that comes to 57,600 and in winter this is going to be 4 rupees multiplied by 5400 that comes to 21,600 this will be the salary right uh, what about the lighting heating and power sir he says the lighting expenses are for the whole month 100 rupees when occupied right so if you are talking about the lighting part if you are talking about the lighting part it is 100 rupees when occupied right so 100 rupees into 100 rooms into 80 percent occupancy into six months because this 100 is for per month right so you cannot directly take 100 into 14,400 right this is how you have to calculate clear and for the winter season how it is to be calculated it will be uh, 100 into 100 rooms multiplied by 30 percent occupancy multiplied by six months this is how the lighting will be calculated uh, what about the heating sir heating he says it is used only in winter and charges are 40 per month for a room when occupied again in case of heating how will you take it in case of heating sir there is uh, nothing to be taken in the summers in the winters you will take it uh, how much 40 rupees it is yes 40 rupees into 100 rooms into 30 percent occupancy into six months clear so this is where you need to be careful that here we have calculated first per month then into six here these are expenses are given for per month so you do not have to multiply it with 30 no right you do not have to multiply it with 30 had these been given per day then we would have multiplied with 30 clear rest of the expenses are clearly given so i will give you the answer now i have explained the major parts i will give you the answer the answer is going to be see the profit is to be calculated on cost excluding the interest so total cost will be okay i'll give you the total cost what will be the total cost total cost will be 4 lakh 16 thousand right profit will be 25% on 
25 percent of 3 lakh 16 thousand right that comes to 79 thousand so this will be the total rent to be charged that is 4 lakh 95 thousand room days we have calculated right so we will calculate room rent per day room rent per day that will be 4 lakh 95 thousand divided by 19 thousand 800 that is rupees 25 right so this will be the answer prepare in the proper statement form proper statement form that you have to prepare right guys so this was question number eight hotel costing after that the hospital costing is there we have covered this question in the icism right so all those all of you must be having this uh, youtube questions file if you are not having if you have purchased our handbooks from our website www.kstateaching.org if you are having the handbooks then you can mail us for this file right or uh, you can get it from our mobile app store section nominal charges pay those charges and you will get the file okay question number 10 is on it services again from the ici study mat right question number 11 toll plaza again from the ici study mat question number 12 is uh, regarding the financial services again from the ici study mat right and this is relating to the generation of power again from the study mat right so with this we have ended this chapter and i am already saying that the series this is the handbook part right most of you must be having the handbook now you can go through all the topics given in the handbook okay and one thing very important that i am telling you that ici sm series that is available in english also and hindi also that is one of the most valuable series from the examination point of view so do not miss out on that part right it is a small investment that you must make for your better future right that is what i can say right so with this we have ended this series we have ended this english batch i hope all of you have enjoyed it and if you have enjoyed it do share with all your friends do not forget at all to share as much as possible so that maximum people get benefit from this free lectures absolutely free of cost lectures right and uh, our results have already proved that people have been scoring the rank all india rank 48 mudassir agdas from calcutta he started from these youtube lectures only he started costing financial management economics or finance all the three uh, subjects from our youtube videos and he scored all india rank 48 so if you can make a small investment right and even after buying the books or even uh, subscribing to one of the most valuable course you can easily score 90 plus in the costing and that should be your target right that should be your target costing is one of the most scoring subjects believe me it is not a difficult subject it is one of the most scoring subjects provided you do it in the right way right that is very important that you do it in the right way if you're not doing it in the right way then you are not going to score uh, you know good marks or uh, the desired marks i can say right so guys all the best for your preparation and we will be there for all of you and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you keep updated uh, you keep yourself updated with all uh, with all the videos all the updates that we come up with right so all the best for your preparation stay safe stay healthy thank you so much